to uh, uh, have a very quick introduction. Euraxis is not a company, it's a uh, service by the uh, European Commission. Uh, and more exactly, we are serving uh, uh, these 40 countries in Europe in the European research area. And our job is to support international uh, research cooperation and international researcher mobility. And that to us means all disciplines. Of course, it includes humanities, but maybe for today, uh, and today will be more about natural sciences. It includes all profiles, that is, uh, junior uh, career, PhD students, maybe, uh, up to senior professors. All nationalities, of course, we care about your nationalities. Uh, it includes academia and private sector, because uh, to us, research is done uh, as well in, in academia and research uh, institutes, universities, but also in uh, startups, SMEs, and uh, in the industry. And of course, what we provide is we provide 100% free services as well, because we are not here to sell any uh, services. Now that being said, since I don't have much time, uh, I will be very quick about the variety of services that we uh, uh, can provide. If you remember one thing, remember this. This is the, the web portal for Euraxis, uh, Euraxis.org. And through this uh, uh, portal, you can access uh, the, the whole variety of services that we, uh, 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 we can provide. Today, I will uh, focus mostly on uh, two of the pillars that we have, uh, the uh, jobs and funding uh, database and the uh, uh, partnering uh, functionality. The other ones being more for individual researchers who are looking to relocate, for example, to uh, Europe. Uh, and the, the, the last one here being, well, us here in Japan. So uh, we have the uh, most uh, uh, important uh, job platform for uh, research-based jobs in Europe. Uh, and also, it's totally free. We have a, a job platform that provides uh, uh, thousands of job offers. Actually, if you look uh, pretty much any time, we will have between five and 10,000 different uh, job offers. That is uh, both in uh, uh, academia and industry, of course including SMEs and startups. So from the individual point of view, if you yourself are an innovator and researcher, you can find a job in Europe using this. But also from the uh, Japan-based uh, company or academia or research institute point of view, you can also advertise your job offers on this platform. And uh, you can uh, get uh, well proposals or, or candidates, uh, very good candidates from Europe. Uh, since I don't have much time to delve into the details, uh, I just wanted to, to uh, check a few uh, items. For example, uh, uh, of course, it's a, it's a job search portal, so you can uh, uh, filter with uh, different, uh, uh, different options. Uh, and for example, here it is, if you are a, a, um, uh, a researcher yourself, you can uh, filter and, and look for a job at large companies, when there's also a filter specifically for SMEs and startups. This, I think I, I, I did it yesterday evening, so you can see there's plenty of offers. Uh, and these are two offers, for example. Uh, one is a PhD uh, candidate offer at an SME in Europe, in this case in Spain. Uh, and another one would be a postdoctoral uh, offer, in, uh, also in an SME. Uh, and also, and this is quite interesting, funded by uh, the EU. So you have offers like this for individual researchers, uh, not only young uh, researchers, but also uh, at later stages of uh, the career. Oops, this is a uh, duplicate slide. Uh, we have, uh, as I said, we also have, the order of the slide is a bit weird, but uh, we also have a partnering tool. Uh, so, same thing, you, have, you can use it as an individual researcher, but you can also use it as an institution. Uh, so researchers can use it to find potential collaborators, for example, indivi other individual researchers, uh, but they can also uh, use them to find uh, uh, host institutions, uh, maybe, uh, in Europe. 
uh, and also organizations, uh, institutions, but also companies can use the database uh, to find well uh, potential partners as well. Uh, in order to use the, the, uh, the this database, you need to uh, um, you need to be a, a member, which is completely free. You just have to register online and to fill in your profile. Uh, and we have once again within this uh, um, functionality within this uh, database, we uh, we also have filters that allow you to, for example, find individual researchers uh, from Europe who would be interested in co-founding a startup. Uh, or, or being a partner in a startup, for example. Uh, as you can see, there, there's uh, um, quite a, a lot of uh, parameters here. You can find people who are uh, interested to um, uh, participate in an EU funded project, etc. But today it's about innovation, so this is what you can use this for. Uh, and you can also use it to uh, find organizations that are uh, looking to uh, either outsource or, or start. Uh, 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 startups with their own uh, technology. So both sides you can use them. This is pretty interesting. Uh, this is just an example. For example, uh, probably many of you know about this. This is uh, the uh, famous uh, Belgian, Belgian uh, Research Institute, uh, IMEC, uh, and they have a uh, um, they have a department that is uh, uh, that serves to support uh, startups. And of course, they are on this database, and you can contact them with this, with uh, ideas or proposals, etc. So this is, of course, just an example. Uh, so just in terms of numbers, what you can find is uh, right now it's still growing because this is a new functionality that we have. Uh, but you can already find more than twenty-five thousand uh, individual researchers on this database, and you can find also more than uh, uh, fourteen thousand uh, research uh, institutions. Now just a final, very brief word about uh, ourselves here in Japan. So here in Japan, we have, of course, a, a very focused uh, uh, range of services. We provide information on available uh, funding, job offers sometimes as well, cooperation opportunities. Uh, secondly, we organize and we participate in uh, events. This is uh, one of them. Unfortunately, this is the last one of the year for us, so I don't have any next activity to present today, but there will be more next year. And we have a community of researchers, but also innovators, uh, with whom we try to entertain a, a regular relationship. We try to uh, foster uh, cooperation also within this uh, community, which is now about 3,000. 300 people, mostly based in Japan. Uh, yeah, 70 percent based in Japan, mostly for free, of course. If you are specifically interested in the uh, uh, in, in the part of uh, the services that are related specifically to Japan, then it's also pretty easy to find us either uh, via the main portal or uh, just typing this japan.erizon.org. And well, this is it for today. This is where you can uh, uh, contact me pretty easy as well. And at erasmus.net, uh, we both wish you a very pleasant and uh, informative day. And I think we will start right away with the uh, very first research market session of the day. Thank you.